Well, hello there and happy Motivational Monday to my sea goats, Capricorns. I am talking to each and every one of you. And because I have Capricorn in my chart as well, I am talking to myself. Let's get into your general reading. Happy full moon and happy lunar eclipse. It's a full moon in Scorpio. Yes. All right. So some of the things you should be asking yourself is what have I manifested? What have I manifested? And do I feel worthy of manifesting those things? Because that's really where what the real question is, is do you feel worthy of planting seeds and manifesting those things? Most people will say yes. Most people will say yes. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Let's see what these cards have to say. The energy has already been cleared. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Wow. Okay, okay. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Capricorn. So... Somebody has been, somebody is focused on balance. Here we have the lover's card and we have the justice card. So somebody is really focused on balance, right? Because the lover's card at first glance may look like, okay, my twin flame. Maybe that's what it looks like for some people. The lover is coming into my life. But it's really balancing out your divine masculine to your divine feminine. This card is Gemini. This card is Libra. I don't want you all to start thinking Disney or Libra or Gemini in my life because because planets, I'm sorry, zodiac signs are aligned to a rule by planets, right? So we're not talking about a person in particular. This is about you balancing out your own life and making some adjustments, right? So somewhere along the line, somebody has been in a relationship or relationships with people who were deeply disappointing them, right? Deeply, deeply, deeply disappointing them causing tears, frustration, um, all sorts of just low vibrating feelings, just causing a huge disruption in your life, right? To some degree, it could be family members. It could be exes. It could be whomever, but because you didn't tap into that divine masculine side of yourselves, it could have been, it could have been old managers. It could have been old friends. It doesn't necessarily even mean it was a lover, right? Whoever it was. That caused you to feel like this and disrupted your rest, your sleep. We're looking at the four of the four of swords, the seven of swords, and also the nine of swords. First of all, if you have a court date, justice is in your favor. So congratulations to you on that for winning, right? It doesn't always feel like a win when you have to go to court, depending on what it is, but you won. So congratulations to you. But if you don't have a court day coming up, I see you all taking the sword and finally, finally. This is where you're taking action. This is where this divine masculine energy is just like taking over, right? Because you're divine feminine by default and protecting your heart finally. Finally protecting your heart, right? And severing ties with somebody that you may have been deeply in love with, somebody that you felt like was your twin flame. Now, if you're in a happy, healthy situation, this part I am not talking to you, right? Right? But it still applies if you've even severed ties with some friends or severed ties with some family members like you initiated it. Not um, not where you're sitting there crying another moment. This time is for good, though. This time it is for good. Right. And moral justice is in your favor. So that may have been somebody's fear. Well, what if I cut this person out? What's going to happen? Are they going to stop speaking to me? You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm jumping the gun. Maybe I'm, you know, maybe I'm making a hasty decision. At this point, you decided I need to move on. I need to create space for my actual twin flame to come into my life. I need to, if, if, if it's a romantic situation, I need to make room for my actual person. So no, I'm not keeping a person's number in my phone. No, I'm not, you know, emailing them or I'm not keeping their email address. No, I'm not doing any of that anymore. It's time for me to move on, right? So this time I see you sealing it for good and focusing on things that you love to do. Another, um, another um, scenario that's coming to me is if you've had to sever ties with some family members or friends because... You've looked at it in the past. You looked at it as the number of years you've known this person. But then you're starting to realize, do you really, really know the person? Do I really know the person? 
Like it seems like the person has so many secrets or it just seems like the person is a master manipulator or it seems like the person is this or seems like the person is that. And I just can't put my finger on it. If it's a lot of question marks, cut your losses. Take this source and go ahead and cut your losses and move on. Because even if the person is operating in fear, which has nothing to do with you, it's unsettling for you. Let's say the person may have had a very um, troubled childhood or something where they moved around a lot. There was a lot of trauma involved, you know, maybe a sexual trauma, whatever the trauma was. And they don't feel like you're a safe space, even though you feel like I would never talk about that. I would never do it. And they don't feel that's not something you can change in them. They're going to actually they're going to have to go get help for that. They're going to have to have to go talk to somebody. So you can be as consistent as a whatever. It doesn't matter how consistent you are in your behavior. You could be whoever you it doesn't matter who you are. If they don't feel comfortable and it, it's unsettling for you, you need to go ahead and sever ties, right? The moon. This is, again, we're currently, even though this is the pic, it's not a picture of a full moon, the moon card speaks to your intuition because it's aligned with our intuition, our, our um, feelings, subconscious habits, moods, emotions. And right now, full moon energy at 100% illuminated at the time of me doing this reading. Um, and then the fact that it's a, a lunar eclipse, it's like the full moon on steroids. You know exactly what you need to let go. Yeah, if they if it's caused confusion, because because maybe they're not. I mean, in some cases, the person could be a narcissist or a psychopath or sociopath. Maybe they just have so many secrets, or you think they have so many secrets, something that you just don't feel comfortable. But nevertheless, your ancestors are like, just go ahead and you go ahead and do it this time. You go ahead and cut them off. You go ahead and sever ties. You do it. You'll be fine. You will be just fine. Yes. So move on. Move on from that. If you feel yourself having to ask the same question, even if it's a cousin, you know, your parents grew up together and your, your parents were best friends or whatever, and you feel like... Um, Something about them feels odd or something feels off. I don't really feel like I know them, know them. And you ask a couple of questions and you don't feel like you're getting some satisfactory responses or whatever. It's best for you to go directly to source and ask source to show you what it is. And you still feel like it's kind of something is a little off or whatever. Then go with what your your intuition is telling you to just move on. Sever ties with it and move on. Here we have the king of pentacles. This lets me know that somebody is really getting ready for the good life financially. Because again, you are taking the initiative to create um, space where the energy of money can come in, where it whatever whatever way that the energy of money comes in through business deals, through hitting the lottery, an inheritance or whatever, you're creating a safe space so that you don't have any questionable people around you where you feel like because you're a nurturer, you have to give anything to them because you've already severed ties with it. So like I said, you got to do what's best for you, Capricorn. What's best for you? So yeah, the King of Pentacles is all about living a great life financially and, and a very wealthy life. Wealthy in health, wealthy in money, wealthy in friends, wealthy in every area of your life. So yeah, that's what you're preparing for. Sing. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, somebody could be a singer. Somebody could be a songwriter. Somebody could be, like I said, you're in perfect harmony with yourselves. And so this rebirth, this number nine, this rebirth in you is rebirthing your creativity, your creative side of yourself, which is also speaking to this moon energy too, this water energy, right? Overflowing with intuition and your creative on your creative side. And I'm even talking to you, even if you're on the cusp of Sagittarius or the cusp of Aquarius. Um, this is a Capricorn reading, but, you know, we have cuspers, too. So just go with what resonates with you. The number two, right? I am diplomatic. So this is a person who has weighed. Then we have two, two sides, right? Divine masculine, divine feminine. This is a divine masculine side, sign. But the ruling planet is divine feminine, balance, balance, and also balance and then balance, right? And so 
this is what your intuition is telling you that you need to live a very well balanced life, even in your dualities. The number two um, means you have great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. That's right. So you able to do it for everybody else and so now do it for you. Let's pull another card, Capricorn. Let's pull another card. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see. Balance again. Balance spirituality and practicality. Yep. There's Pisces again. The moon card is attached to Pisces, even though it is uh, Cancer's ruling. It's rule, Cancer is ruled by the moon because the moon isn't a planet. But Pisces lets me know that you've been holding on to a lot of emotions about this. Pisces is the last sign in the zodiac. You've been holding on to a lot of emotion about this. But at some point, you're going to realize all I need to do is make it make sense to me. And if it doesn't make sense to me, I need to go ahead and sever ties with it. I don't need to overthink this. I don't need to sit around and keep holding space for, I believe this, I believe that, I believe this, I believe that, and having those conversations with people when you have to fill in the gray areas. Either you know it or you don't. With this situation right here, and if you don't know it, cut your losses, keep moving, and again, hold space for this. Wealth in every area of your life. That is what I have for you, Capricorns. I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.